Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. I bet you thought I gave up, didn't you? Well, the death of Zumath almost broke my spirit, but I'm back and I'm determined that somehow one day I'm going to beat this game as a wizard. I've already beaten it as a Minotaur Berserker a long time ago. That's my only win. I don't realize how lucky I got or how skilled I was during that run. I don't know which. Um, I know a lot of people have wanted me to play a uh, Gargoyle Scald. And I I haven't really done very well at them. Um, I, guess, I guess we'll give it a try. And we'll go with a Mace. Uh, this might be a very short run. I'm not very good at this at all. We're going to run him initially as a um, just as a, a fighter and we're going to focus everything on maces and flails. Uh, we are playing the uh, 1.3 latest version of crawl or sorry uh, 0.13. Uh, this is the first time I've recorded the new version. And uh, the Gargoyle is quite a nice race. He's got uh, immunity to poison, torment resistance, bonus armor class, sharp teeth and uh, toenails, resist negative energy, resist electric shocks, slow metabolism, can survive without breathing, and immune to petrification. Uh, here in the next version they're going to nor nerf the uh, electricity resistance. And that's fine. I also think that the uh, the Gargoyle I'm not quite sure with the mechanics behind it, but the uh, gargoyle gets bonus armor classes the more he levels. So we'll see. He also has reduced hit points, so I'm not sure how it plays out. I've tried it a couple times, but I've not gotten very far with it. Uh, the one you saw in my playlist there, the level 11 one, found an electric whip early and pretty much coasted through the first bits. Okay, just die. Uh, I think the mace is a fairly slow weapon at this point. We'll see what happens when I meet my first uh, snake or adder. Oh, here's level 3 already. I'm going to raise intelligence. The gargoyle gets a stat boost of intelligence or dexterity every four levels I think so we'll look out for that at the next level maces and flails up to four let's cut up the snake okay here we go let's see how well I hit this guy tough fight but we pulled it off and here's another one that was a little easier so far we're coasting. We're going to pick up this ring mail. I'm not going to wear it yet. I guess we'll get maces and flails up to about level 5. Okay, that gave us an intelligence boost there. So it is every 4 levels. Let's check what's upstairs just in case we miss anything. Could put on the heavy armor. Oh, I don't have the strength for it. And I like the fact, I like the hunger mechanic that, well, I like, I don't like the hunger mechanic. I mean, I realize it's necessary, but I like the fact that the gargoyle hungers less, takes out a little bit of grind to the game. I'm not complaining about the hunger mechanic, I know it's necessary. Uh-oh. Uh, let's cast infusion for this. Now that's going to drain some of our mana and add it to our damage. And I'm really not sure how to run this guy. Am I going to run him as a spellcaster or as uh, a fighter? What should I focus on? I've, I've always had a problem with split ca class characters. And I'm not sure what the Mindalay for Maces is anyway. Ooh, now this might be interesting. 
Uh, he didn't do much damage to me. I'm gonna bet this is cursed. Oh, it's a weapon freezing. Excellent. Okay, we're. That's uh. That's a bonus there. I believe the whip is a lot quicker than the mace. Might do a little less damage. Uh, let's try and find a place to hide here. Not that I needed it. That wasn't a very tough fight. Haha! -ha. Okay, so the whip was a good find. Seems to be doing a good job. We're at level 5 already. As for god choices, I suppose I'll go with Okwaru. Okwaru is not my favorite god. His, uh, I think his piety decay is the fastest in the game. And just like I don't really enjoy the grind of the hunger mechanic and managing my corpses, I don't... Okay, there's only... There's only two stairs up? One, two, three. Wait. One, two, three. Yeah, there's three. Okay. And how many down? They often hide a little altar in hidden areas. Ooh, that was close. I'm going to keep training maces and flails a little bit higher. Um, maybe until... I don't know. I don't know when to stop. Which is another reason I don't think this run is going to go very well. But I'll accept it as a challenge run. Hmm. Here's trouble. Should I charge them or run away? I'm going to retreat since they don't see me yet. And maybe try to draw only one of them. I think one of them saw me, but... Okay, that's good. We have a little bit of a buffer zone in between us. Uh... Well, let's get int up. I'm really not sure what to raise here. Oh, here's trouble. Confused. X. Potion of curing. Excellent. Did I get him? No. Whew, close. Okay, maces and flails is up to seven, which is decent. I think it might be time to start training armor. And fighting. So we'll put 50% into maces and flails and 25 into each armor and fighting. Oh, what have we here? Artifact armor. It's probably cursed. How many scrolls do we have? Um, those five scrolls are probably identified. Let's let's just identify this. Ah, it was remove curse. Oh well, that's okay. It's a plus three leather armor. It's certainly an upgrade from what we had. So, and it's probably better than this ring mail too. So we'll drop that as well. Poison darts. Might as well pick those up. Let's let him come to us. Excellent. Oh, this might be a tough fight. I'm going to cast Infusion just... Wow, that really took him down. Okay, this is going better than expected. But I have yet to meet my first... named enemy. And what I also fear is they're at at the moment there's about a million uh, high elf conjurers looming around the dungeon that have uh, battle sphere up and running and those guys are deadly they just completely destroy you they can one shot most uh, most of my wizards that I run now how did he confuse me that's a good trick now you die Okay, and here's something else I'm not sure of. And I, I meant to sort of keep an eye on things here. 
I know I have sharp toenails, so what happens if I put on the boots? Does that... Does that uh, take away one of my attacks? I certainly don't want... I'd go without boots, but... I don't seem to see many... Many uh, extra attacks here. I also have sharp claws. Now, does that only work with unarmed or what? So I'm just going to wear boots and gloves for now and not worry about it. I look awfully fancy in these yellow boots. My name is Vril, by the way. Because tonight is a dark and stormy night. And I am a gargoyle. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about... Aha! A book. Book of Power. Excellent. Well, Iron Shot's viable and Mystic Blast is viable. I know I'm a Scald. But that Mystic Blast is tempting. I'm going to get the Song of Slaying and the Shroud of Glubria. I'll memorize the entire Scald book. Regeneration. Spectral Weapon I hear is very good. And to that end, I don't, I don't know when to start training my magic. I, I'm hesitant to do it now. Not until Maces and Flails goes up a little bit. I suppose fighting can drop for now. Um, so I don't want to train four skills. We'll leave armor on for now. Armor class is 13. Somehow it's... Uh, I think... Ooh, okay. Here's the first check. I think it was 10 before we put on the plus 3 armor. Uh, what am I going to do here? I have four untried rings. This is when you want Mystic Blast. Um, running away is not going to help. So we'll charge him down. Alright, that worked out fairly well. You know what? I am going to turn on charms. Die Priest. Okay. So far, so good. Now, I think in that situation, it might have been a good thing to cast the Song of Slaying. What does that do? Um, Song of Slaying, please. The spell conjures ancient verses of battle within your mind and makes you recite them quite loudly. Each non-summon enemy you slay in combat during this uh, uh, recitation temporarily enhances your melee skills. Your effectiveness will only be enhanced for the duration of the song. Casting the spell while already singing will start a new song, not extending an existing one. Mm. So I guess that's the spell you cast when you're facing multiple enemies. Shroud of Glubria I know, and Regeneration I know, so no surprises there, I, I, even though I haven't used them all that much. Did I accidentally cast the Song of Slaying? I guess I did. That's alright. It causes a bit of hunger, but I'm not too worried about being hungry. Um, infusion? Okay, that was somewhat close. I really want to try Spectral Weapon. I have two spell levels left. I'm going to have to wait quite a while before I can cast that. Let's turn armor off and get spell casting up. This is always my problem when I'm... Hmm. Ice Beast, Ice Whip. Not a good combination. We'll get the mace back. And we'll uh, infuse. Yeah, this is always my problem when I'm doing a split class. I don't know what to train. 
but it's probably a good idea to get spell casting up. I am a, I am relying on my spells. Okay, that makes it a little better. I got an extra point of intelligence there. Let's get spectral weapon. Let's get a castable. Um, let's get hexes and charms up until that's castable because I, I have a feeling that that's going to be my uh, that's going to be my get out of jail free card. Yes, yes, sound of rushing. Oh no. Jurg. Demon Spawn Conjurer. Hmm. I remember Jurg. We gotta get out of here. Fortunately, there's a staircase right to the north. Ow. Will I make it? Yeah. Just. Okay, let's, uh, let's try to cast Spectral Weapon. Oh my god. That's pretty cool. And we've got a centaur bearing down on us. This is not good at all. Um, we don't have anything identified at this point. What am I I'm on level 7 already? The only thing I can think of doing is uh, potion of curing. And climb the stairs. Luckily my spectral weapon came with me. Um, but I'm in big trouble here. I can't outrun him. We fight. Whew. Okay, leave me alone, Imp. I need a moment. Okay. That was close. Those centaurs are not to be messed with. And neither is Jurg. He's around here somewhere. Might be possible to take out Jurg with spectral, spectral weapon. It's down to 21%. If I can take out these orcs, it'll become castable. Oh, that's a lot of orcs. Luckily, they haven't all seen me. There's a priest. We're going to get out of here. Let's try the Song of Slaying. And I think that uh, that orc up there has a Morning Star, which might prove useful. We're not getting... Okay, we slay in two. Oh, wow. That Song of Slaying does good work. Uh, yeah, that's a little too much to ask. We're going back upstairs. Right, now this is getting tough. I had no problem dealing with those orcs. That's... oh, come on. Take me to the staircase, please. Well, there's a sewer. Uh, let's just dive in there. I don't fancy my chances coming out of here. See, that's... oh, Pruggy. Uh-oh, here's trouble. Okay, uh, let's get the Shroud of Galubria up. Since we're only facing one enemy, um, let's try Spectral Weapon. And again. And again. Three miscasts. Excellent. Unfortunately, Pergy did not leave a, uh, a troll hide for me. But I have some fairly decent armor. And I have the regeneration spell, so not all is lost. How are we doing? Charms is up, hexes is up. See, I don't think it'll take too much to get all these, the basic uh, Scald Book castable here. And then what? I suppose I have the tools to be a Scald. I, I don't need any other spells. 
Luckily, I, I did find a very good book here because Iron Shot will eventually become castable because I have good Earth aptitudes, and uh, is uh, is Mystic Blast might as well. Uh oh. Now it's time to leave this place, and should I leave with a spectral weapon? Might be a good idea. Luckily, all my enemies are in water. That's making them slow. Uh, I'm going to cast Infusion as well. I don't know what my spectral weapon is doing there. He could be doing better work. As far as I'm concerned, he didn't do a damn thing. But we got out of it alive, and that's what's important. Wasn't there an orc of the morning star? Yeah, there was over here. Uh oh, here's the big guy. Let's get our shroud up and a song of slaying. Because we're gonna slay this guy first. Oh no. Well, at least Jurg is helping me kill the orc warrior. Okay, now I'm between Jurg and his battle sphere. Ouch. I'm going to have to run a Minotaur Berserker through here to get rid of all these conjurer. Uh, I don't know what to do here. I should have identified my scrolls when I had the chance. Make for the stairs. He's going to shoot me. My best chance, I suppose, is to fight. And no. One more battle sphere and I'm dead. Well, that was my first attempt at a scald. I should have probably ID'd my stuff earlier. I had a plus two ring of evasion. I had scrolls of teleportation, six of them, so I, and two scrolls of blinking, so I could have gotten out of any situation. Usually I put off identifying things until I reach the temple, but that's because I usually run a caster and I know what I'm doing. So with the Scald I didn't know what I was doing and that's what got me into trouble in this run. Well, that's my first attempt. And this will go into the short runs category, I suppose. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.